Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys the best and latest NES emulator you can get to run on your R4 card. So this video is mainly um, for the DS Lite and the DSi. I will just be using my 3DS just because mine are actually out of charge right now. Um, but just make sure you get your R4. And now you just want to take out your SD card, connect this to your PC, and I will show you guys what to do next. Now over on your computer, just make sure your R4's SD card is connected and then you want to go to the SourceForge link in the description and it's just called NES DS. So this was last updated in 2014. Um, considering this is like a homebrew app for an R4, um, it's actually kind of new I guess, even though it's still four years old. But all you want to do is just click on download and this will begin downloading the zip file for the homebrew emulator. So once the emulator has finished downloading, you can head over to your PC's downloads folder. Now I've already got two NES ROMs in here, I've got Bomberman and Street Fighter 4. It is entirely up to you where you get your NES ROMs from. You can back them up off your cartridges, um, you can get them in any other means possible, it's up to you. But first of all, just get your zip file with your emulator in, right click and just select extract here. It's going to give you two files, you can delete the readme file because you won't need that. So what we will need to do with the ROMs is just create a ROMs folder. So I'm just going to do right click, new folder, and just call it all in capitals. I'm just going to call it NES, just like this. Now you can put the .nds file in here as well, but I'm going to drag the ROMs in here, just like that, and then put the emulator file and the ROMs folder just on the root of my R4's SD card. So now it should just look something like this. Here is our emulator and here are the ROMs folder. So now what we do is just disconnect our SD card from our PC and I will show you guys what to do next. So now back over to my DS. Obviously we just want to put the micro SD card back into our R4 and now we can connect this to our DS. And now obviously you just want to start up your R4 card. So just going to the game section, now just locate the game. So it has a picture of Mario and it's just called um, NESDS. So just press A on it or just tap it to start it. So this is a very basic emulator and I actually really like it because it actually works really well. So on this home screen, you just want to scroll down and you want to select just the NES folder or wherever you put your ROMs. And here you can see both of my ROMs. So you can have as many ROMs as you want, but I just got Bomberman and Street Fighter 4. So to start a game, all you would do is just press A on it and it will launch up almost instantly and it will be running on your top screen so obviously I'm just gonna show you some quick gameplay let's just choose one player so you do get some um, kind of glitches like this it's just flickering a bit um, but during the gameplay it works um, as you guys can hear the sound works as well and um, there's no really like lag issues or anything like that you know I can actually play this at full speed and there's no real delay or anything now to open up the options so you can you know change ROM and um, quit game and you know enable cheats and all that sort of thing you just want to tap the bottom screen and it's going to give you a menu just like this so we've got file if you tap on that you can go and load ROM you can save the game and stuff like that let's just go on back we've also got game right here this is just where you can edit the display and the timing and there's a few extra settings in here but I wouldn't worry too much about this stuff then we've got cheats this is where you can enable cheat codes we've got settings um, here you can change like the config and stuff like that and the SRAM and the graphics you can also change it if you want it on the top screen um, or the bottom screen uh, we've also got debug um, nothing really too interesting in here it does actually show the FPS and then last of all we have just got an about section and then we've just got hide menu just to turn down the menu so let's just open up Bomberman quick you'd go to file load ROM um, go up to Bomberman and then just press on A now let's just do a start quick game on this one also the um, if you are using a 3DS the um, circle um, pad will work so yeah, really nice emulator with full working sound and um, with no issues or anything like that. There is slight 
um, graphics issues, but you don't really notice them. Right now, I can sort of notice a tiny bit of flickering um, just as I'm moving my character up and down, but it definitely won't spoil the gameplay, and you're much better off playing something like this rather than spending a lot of money on a NES Classic. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show you this nice emulator that you can get for your R4 card. Obviously, it's a lot better on the Classic DS's, um, but you can use this on your 3DS as well. So that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.